Hey there internet, Keeve here, and welcome to the Cars of Keeve YouTube channel. In this video, we're going over the Fantic NB8. This is something I bought four or five months ago because I bought it for a specific purpose, and I read the fine print and they said, please do not use detergents or chemicals or anything like that in this. Um, I should have looked more, but it's meant more for taking camping, use it as a, a shower, wash your hands, wash your dishes, uh, water plants, that kind of stuff. It says don't use any chemicals. But I said to myself, I was like, well, what's closest to water when it comes to washing a car? Rinseless wash. A lot of people use IK sprayers and different kinds of sprayers to spray, uh, you know, your rinseless on the panels. And a lot of people do the whole car. Well, even with the IK, it takes some time to get the whole car. And I thought since this thing says it can do between 75 and 95 PSI, that this would be pretty good not only to cover quickly, uh, but to get a little oomph in there to get some, you know, dust and, and stuff off the panels before you make your contact wash. Fantic, I've had them send me several things before in the past, uh, vacuum cleaners and uh, tire inflators, and they worked really well. Um, I bought a few uh, to do other videos with. Um, they kind of ghosted me, but who cares? Uh, must not have sold too many. Picked up this up for 99 bucks. Like I said, four or five months ago on sale. Hasn't really been on sale really that much since, but right now, there's a button for 25% off redeem. Hopefully it's still there if you're looking for one. Puts it at about $97. If not, it's normally $130, which is a, it's a bit high. The hose, the sprayer, stores in the bottom. You have two gallons or eight liters of storage, so lots of storage in here. Uh, you have a cap that comes off. has a little rubber piece right here. That way you, you don't lose it. It is USB-C, uh, regular USB plug-in, uh, USB-C uh, for the front comes right here in the front, nice little spot. Hold this button in to turn it on. Pull the sides off, your storage comes right out. At the bottom, little gasket right here. Uh, you can't only go one way, you can't reverse it, so you can't screw this up. But a good thing is with these prongs like this, they not only help it fit into the base, but it helps it be sturdy to just sit like that. And then you have this right here. So you see, I. I've put water in here to, to play with it. Uh, have an adjustable spray nozzle all the way from mist all the way out to just a steady stream. This goes all the way out to 10 feet. Uh, it stores very easily in the bottom here. Like I said, and then it snaps down. So for the rinseless, we have DIY detail. Uh, and it's a surfactant based uh, rinseless wash that can foam. So as you can see in the bottle, we're gonna see how that works with this. I kind of like the foaming idea because I like to see where I've last been. We're gonna see how this works. Uh, it's 256 to one, so it's two gallon, one ounce. If you're wondering, this is a pro blend proportioner. Works really good with thinner chemicals. Uh, not so much with thicker chemicals. You can get these like obsessed garage for like seven or eight bucks a piece. But you can buy these in bulk in 12s. Uh, they have the one for the smaller bottles and one for the gallon bottles. You can get these for like 35 to 40 bucks for 12 of them. That way you don't have to share them. You can have one for every single bottle. It's really cool. Like I said, thick liquids, not so much, but the thinner liquids for sure. Now this does not have gallon markings. It's like 2.1 gallons because uh, this is eight liters. Uh, so we have to be very careful. We're going to fill up to fill up slightly below the eight liter. That way we keep that 256 to one dilution ratio. So we're gonna fill up with some deionized water. As you can see, I'm using the Orbit. Really great, budget-friendly uh, garden hose sprayer, like 19 bucks. I do have the Eli, or Eli, whatever it is, it's 90 something dollars, but it doesn't really have a, a pattern that allows me to fill up uh, these very well. Note to self, probably a good idea to fill it with water first and then put the uh, rinseless wash in there since it's a foamy kind. This is fully, is the IP5X or whatever it is, waterproof. So you can pour water all over it and you're good to go. We can still take it off while it's full. Now, you need to expect a few drops coming from that little gasket area as you, you know, take it off and put it on. There's a notch right here. You can see very, very stretchy and it coils right back so if i straighten it out you do got to be careful because you can get it all you know if you were a kid with a slinky you know what i'm talking about he said it's incredible oh slinky go oh man <laughs> there we 
we go. We have our normal panel behind us so we can kind of show you the different pressures that this can do, the different spray patterns. It's not heavy, heavy. I mean, obviously there's two gallons of liquid in there. Overall, it's a pretty light uh, product. It's not bad to carry, but obviously we can put it on the floor and we can stretch and have a good distance away from it. So you can see the panel is not dirty, dirty, but I did leave it outside. We we're doing some yard work. So we got some dust and debris on here, like the pieces of grass that we can spray off with the pressure. You see the panel's wet. I just washed it off because I was using this and I didn't, I didn't hit record. Uh, so we've used a little bit of product. We've used a little bit of battery life, but we'll turn, turn it on now and see. You see, it's not, when you're not using it, it's not going to run. So it's not like constantly running. What's cool about the nozzle here is you have a whole bunch of little adjustments. There is no arrow, but you can use the little line here from the, where the two pieces of plastic meet and then have that all the way on that you can just say, hey, I want to move over like two notches. So this is full mist. There we go. We misted the whole panel. Now, I don't really like the mist, but if you try and really use it sparingly, uh, it works pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over like a quarter notch. That's really good coverage right there. Let's go over another half notch. Got a little bit, a little bit more liquid, a little more flow, a little bit more pressure. You have something on the panel you need to get off. You have enough of an oomph to do that. We're gonna go over one more. Really good. A lot of adjustability. A lot of times when you have nozzles, it's like mist and then a quarter turn and you're, you're already at the stream. This seems to be almost a full rotation to get all the way to the stream. Almost there. This should be full stream. There we go. So if you really want to get something off, you need that pressure. There you go. I kind of like this right here. We have a lot of liquid left in the bottle. We've gotten a lot of quick coverage. We've covered this multiple times already. Uh, battery power, we'll find out. Obviously, I'm not judging how much I'm using right now because I'm using it sparingly. So let's turn this bad boy horizontal so you can really see what it would be like on a trunk, a roof, or a hood. Let's dry it off so you can kind of see what it's like dry. Now we still have our unit right here on the floor, just below me. You can't see it obviously on the video, but it's right there. I'm gonna use this and go all the way around to the back side. So 10 feet, man, I don't know. I am coming from the opposite side, just having to go over and I'm stretching it, but I say you're more like six feet is a is a safer estimate. Uh, so here's full mist. So this is the mist. Now the problem with the mist is is it depends on the angle of your spray. So if I'm spraying like this, I'm going to get concentrated spray here, and I'm going to get misting out there. Now if I spray up and down, I'm going to get two bands on the outside that are much stronger, and then on the inside, that's the nature of a mist. Now the other problem is, is when you're doing like this, look at this, I'm dragging the hose. So we're trying to protect the car. I think something like this is way better. I can spray this from a distance. Look at that coverage. And you can see the pressure. So we're going to do a little bit thicker. This has way more pressure. And then obviously, like that. So this is the setting that I think it has the best and quickest coverage. There you go. You could go thicker if you want to, a little bit more. 
a little bit slower. I definitely think that's going to give you way quicker covers than, say, a smaller IK sprayer or a solo sprayer or anything like that. All right, everybody, calm down. Keeve is doing a rinseless wash. Go ahead and send this to Eddie. Screenshot. Send it to JB. Send it to Jamie, whoever you want to. I don't have uh, one of those amazing sponges, so I have an Eagle 500, which is what I've used before with a rinseless wash. I had no problem at all with it. Very large footprint. I have many, many, many folds that I can do to use this. I'm a very careful uh, person when it comes to this, so I fold many, many times. But I don't return my wash media back to the bucket. I carry five, six of these. I have one of my smaller uh, drying towels. These are actually used to be from DOI Detail. Hopefully they get them back in stock. Uh, Coke Cars with Key will save you 10% on their website on anything. This is a twist and uh, twist and loop, they call it. Um, the Keys make some really big ones of these, um, but they're really, really good. We'll see here if uh, I've ruined and scratched my paint. While checking for streaking. And you could also use a drying aid when you're doing this, uh, but most of these really good um, rinseless products, they don't have any streaking. I normally always use spotless water on my final, final rinse, and then I'll just use a leaf blower like I did earlier in the video, and that's how I dry the car. But Key can do a rinseless. Does it mean I'm going to? No, but I can sure do one. There's your panel, nice and clean. You can see no streaks. If you do it right, get the dilution right, and obviously a good rinseless wash. So the unit's off. I've zip tied the trigger fully open. I'm going to kind of wedge it in here, which is a really good idea if you don't want to store it underneath and you want it out. It does fit really nice under here and it's not going to fall out. And we're just going to run this thing for as long as we possibly can. And we'll time it, see how long it lasts. And the good thing is, is all that spraying that we did on the panels and everything that we did, we still have half, more than half of the tank full. So we have not wasted a lot of product, but you saw the covers that we got was really good. Um, I'm not huge, huge on rinseless, so I don't know how it works in a detail keg, but those things are very expensive. I think this is a viable option. Well, Fifty-six minutes and thirty seconds. That far exceeded my expectations and what they stated. They stated max full forty minutes. Wow, that was way more than I was expecting. You saw when I was doing the time lapse that I was change. I was filling it up. I was keeping it filled. I was changing from mist to what what I think is the best coverage back to mist to kind of see how long it took to deplete that. So it takes six full minutes to deplete in mist mode. Full mist. To completely deplete from that eight liter or 2.1 gallons now if you put it where you're spraying a little more it's a little bit better coverage a little bit more water it takes about four and a half minutes to deplete all the water in there so that's 0.35 gallons per minute on mist and 0.47 gallons per minute on uh, a good spray these are really good numbers now like the only downfall really to this whole thing is the batteries are there's no interchangeable batteries uh but 56 minutes. Now, it all depends on your where you're at. If it's hotter, colder, this is a, you know, it's 70 degrees in here. You saw it warned you. Like, it went from green and blinked to red. Then it went straight red, and then you still had some time, and then it started blinking red. So it doesn't just die. The little indicator light kind of tells you what's going on. Done the math on it at that four and a half minute mark, you can do 27 gallons of liquid. Now, I would think that a gallon would be more than enough to do a single car if you get really good coverage. That exceeded expectations. Right now, there's a 25% off. So 
I don't know if it's only for Prime members, but when I go onto the listing, there's a button that says redeem for 25% off. That'll get you this for about $97. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the links below for anything in the video, and I'll see you in the next video. And I thought between, and I thought since this thing says it can do between, not, and I thought since this thing, <laughs> DIY detail, uh, for the richest wash, DIY detail. The share one, you have one for every single bottle if that's where you it is one ounce, right? Yeah. 256 to one. That's one ounce.